and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Jeskai Walkers, our next deck for Rotation Proof Monday. This is where we build decks uh, based around the cards that are not going to be rotating when Throne of Eldraine releases. Throne of Eldraine is the fall set. Whenever the fall set releases, uh, standard rotates, which means we are losing the first four sets that are in standard currently. Uh, Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan, Dominaria, and Core Set 2019. So those four sets will be leaving the format. So we're going to have just the other four sets remaining, plus Throne of Eldraine. So we'll have a five-set standard um, this, uh, this upcoming fall in about a month or so. And so the reason why we do these rotation-proof decks, where we're only using half of the, the card pool it, currently in standard, just the half that's staying around, is because there are people that um, want to be building decks uh, that they can still play um, on arena right now play in standard but they do not contain cards that will be rotating that they have to use wild cards on so that's what we're doing here so i have a lot of other rotation proof decks we've been doing it each monday for the past month now and so you, if you are watching this on the youtube channel you can go on over to the playlist that has all of the rotation proof videos so you can check them out for some more ideas today we got jeskai walkers um this one uh, looks to be pretty good. So like we have a pretty normal Jeskai deck here. We don't have any five mana to fairy, as you can see, uh, with uh, because you know of course rotation, it's rotating, um, and we don't have a, a great amount of card draw. Like another card besides that that we're really missing is Opt. Opt is a card that that will rotate out, and not having Opt is honestly kind of hurts our deck. Like it makes our deck slower. It's harder to like continue to hit land drops and have like the spells to play every turn without opt that's that's going to be a card that uh we'll see if, what we have for a replacement there's not any like really good one or two mana card draw spell um right now like charter course and opt are both rotating so i don't have anything there that's why we got a couple drawn from dreams up here that will help us hit our land drops to get to five and six mana and replenish our hand but it is kind of slow at four mana i wish there was something a better option for one or two mana um Cleansing Nova is rotating, um, so we're going with Time Wipe as our 5-mana sweeper. Um, in the 3-mana slot, I'm, I'm going to try one Mu Yanling, just you know, see how see how she does, and a Chandra, where Chandra can recast our removal spells, Shock, Coil, Clarion, um, and can also pressure Planeswalkers. Uh, so we're going to try a couple, a couple of those um, instead of Sahili's. Uh, Sahili is another option that we played like the last time we played Jeskai Walkers originally, but without having opt, I feel like the power level of Sahili uh, goes down. So we're going to try these in here instead. And instead of like Karn, we have Kesmina. She she does a, a decent job of helping you hit your land drops too with that uh, draw a card, then discard a card part. And, you know, can make a couple two twos for us and just hang out um, for Sarkin as well. Uh, our mana base is kind of rough. Yeah, normally I would I would want like the four Glacial Fortress, not four Tranquil Cove, but we got four Tranquil Cove. Um, but besides that, it's it's not so bad. Besides the Tranquil Cove, it's like we got a couple of Scrylands there, each of blue, red, and red, white. So that's fine. You know, we got two, we got a bunch of Scrylands, which is fine. And then we got all these Interplanar Bacon's to help us fix our mana and gain some life as well. Um, so yeah, that's what we have. You know, we're playing Ashiok instead of Blood Sun. Which I'd, I'd rather have Blood Sun, but we're doing rotation proof, so we got Ash Ashiok instead. Um, Gideon's against Control. I'm kind of excited to play like a Wanderer against uh, big creature decks. Um, it's unfortunate that Wanderer does not exile your Rock or Golos, two three fives that are seeing a lot of play right now. Um, but yeah, so maybe Wanderer should be something else, like another Time Wipe or other things. But you know, I want to try it out. It's always good to try out uh, different cards. Um, and we got another big Chandra at the top end for control decks as well. So here we go. Rotation proof Jeskai Walkers. Let's play this through a league. Hopefully it goes pretty well. Can pick up some wins. And let's see how it does. <laughs> Where's Fibblethip? All right, he's lost. <laughs> Sure, if it up, is lost. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So yeah, we do this rotation proof thing just just once a week. Here, I know it's not for everybody. You now some people uh, aren't a big fan of the of that and want to see like the normal standard decks and everything. And their decks are a tad bit watered down, for lack of a better phrase. Well, probably shouldn't keep two six mana planeswalkers and drawn from dreams. Yeah, let's just Morgan. Yeah, this looks like a better hand. I guess Sarkin will go to the bottom. The sub battle is going to be Saturday. Oh, you're well, you're welcome, Funky. Yeah, that it, this does hopefully help out the free to play players. Yeah. So yeah, we'll do sub battle Saturday this week. It'll be like normal. Normal time. Uh, you know, 3 to 10. We are getting pretty close to getting enough uh, sub goals for a 12-hour for a stream, though. For a 12 hours. Whoops. Sorry. I opened the other window and so the Yeah, because we've hit 14 sub goals. So maybe if we get there, um, we could be doing a 12 hour Excellent sub battle fight. stream on Saturday. We may get there. No, I am not no I'm not going to be trying out classic World of Warcraft at all. Um. I bet it's probably really fun, but I'm not really a computer gamer. I like Magic here, of course, which is on the computer, but besides that, console. That's more like it. Gaming. Ah, uh, thanks, Vorpal. I train every day. No one is more prepared than me. Meditate and prepare. I mean, it's just very obvious that I'm going to be shocking here. Might as well just do it now. Um. Yeah. I'm not setting. I'm honestly not exactly sure how the bands help green white value town in modern. Welcome to the family. I kind of assumed that it like it may morph into a, a Stoneforge deck. With having access to that card now. Um Clarion doesn't kill any either oh, of these creatures. I've done the hero thing before. The past, present, and future are bound by threads. Hone your prowess. Coil does. But again, I need I need lands. I just take drawn and play drawn next turn and look for more like another land and look for time wipe. So yeah, that's what that's what we're going to be Doing with this drawn from dreams, yeah, because is uh, this, look for land time wipe, power. and yeah, they they're focused on killing the the planeswalkers. So it's like we just gained nine life this there. Is my worst Overwhelming. Ugh. 
it's just all six mana walkers for us. I think that's lethal, honestly. Is that nine? 11, 14. Yep, that's exactly lethal. Just dead from 21. Thank you. This vampire deck's pretty good. So we got triple devout decree to exile some things. This can exile just. Just champion, I guess. Get an extra time wipe. Hmm. I don't really have answers to a Danto Vanguard. A Danto Vanguard, of course, is a card that's rotating out, though. But we could... I was, I was considering playing... Um, the... The three-mana enchantment that exiles creatures and planeswalkers and lets you scry one. Um, that's sending Nicol Bolas away. Can't can't quite think of the name of that card though. In here, I'm sure y'all know what card I'm talking about. Prison Realm. There you go. I was considering playing Prison Realms in here, and I I regret that for uh, specifically for Adanto Vanguard. All right, so our six mana Planeswalkers seem kind of expensive. Um, a lot of the Let's see. I think I'm going to take out a Drawn, a Moo. The six mana Planeswalkers are just really good, though, especially Ugin. I want these three. I'll take out a Kasmina. Am I supposed to be playing? Maybe I'm not supposed to be playing Dovin's Veto, though. Get a Kasmina back. Dovin's Veto gone. All right. I don't think Fry works too well in this matchup. They don't have very many white creatures to actually kill. Um, the best being like Legion's Lieutenant, I guess, to trade on mana two for two, or you're just killing Sky Marcher Aspirant for like the one drop. So that's kind of about it. All right, so I don't have red mana right now. Opt to be a whole lot better than Drawn from Dreams. Hmm. I didn't realize that... I knew that losing Opt would hurt, but... Losing Opt has definitely hurt this deck, for sure. No, Mox Amber rotates out. We're doing... Yeah, with our Rotation Proof Monday. I'm not using any Mox Ambers. All right, let's start coiling stuff. I will coil you. They both attack for two. Doesn't really matter which one. I just took the one with two toughness instead of one toughness. They have the same power. Defeating you will not bring me pleasure. No pain. Our fate thirst for life. Trust me, you'll thank me later. I've got time. And that toughness can matter, I guess, with Sarkin. Or if they're pumping it up, it's. They have to pump up one toughness a little bit more to get past Clarion. My bloodline flows through you. Hmm. Definitely want to get rid of that thing. Keeping the shock, we could go like Sarkin plus you. Sarkin shock next turn. This is 
but a taste of my power. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. I would like to shock this Knight of the Oven Legion. We'll see if they tap out. Your end has arrived. Looks like they're tapping out for removal, maybe. Another Cool. That'll work. Hey, 619. <clears throat> I bestow a mighty curse. Hmm. And also just bounce the aspirant. I think I'm okay with just trading, though. You know, basically just always want to trade. Clarion. I know eighty-eight keep an open mind. Will always return. Gideon. I will defend the weak at every opportunity. Hey, tra hey track team. I will lend you my strength. Yeah, we'll see if I made a mistake with not, or with trading, instead of a different move. All right, so there's Clarion. I could go Clarion land, so I can cast Clarion. Then I don't really know how I'm dealing with the Gideon. I could take land Chandra. Land Chandra lets me play Teferi right now and bounce a creature, have Teferi die, and then I play Chandra to kill Gideon, but it also kills Chandra. I think it's just Clarion land. If I go Clarion Chandra, I don't get to play anything else. Like, I don't get to play either of them. I mean, I guess I would just play the shock. Prepare for battle. Bleh. Yeah, Gideon's indestructible as a creature. I can't, I can't tick up and then coil. This isn't a fight you can win. That'd be nice. This might be a bad idea. Okay. Gain that life. Looking for Ugin. The focus and the thoughtfulness before action. These interplanar beacons are so good. <laughs> oh, it was very good, 609. Yeah, definitely enjoyed. Having a couple of days off there. Had a lot of fun, but we are back to work today. Dead. No indestructible vampires over there. No, thank you. Curse the darkness. To 
Only time will tell. My prowess says I have just the trick for this. Oh, whoops. Need to edit this. Share in my light. I was not surrender. prepared for this. Not exactly sure, again, so like how we are... I mean, like, I guess we're just going to be having our own 4-4 to attack Gideon. Yeah. And I guess that's just the plan, is just make this 4-4. We can attack Gideon. And try to take out Gideon in three turns. Oh right. Gone. You see that. Listen to them roar. A dragon would rather die. Another day, you villain. Stop. I believe it. No. Lava coil Yeah, lava coil does not hurt Gideon. Um, Gideon is indestructible still, so you can't, you can't lava coil Gideon, even, you know, if you do instant speed lava coil. Does not help. I believe in you, friend. I need Ugin or Chandra. We already saw our Chandra. She's down at the bottom somewhere. We haven't seen either Ugin yet. Light will cleave the We've looked at a whole lot of cards with all of our Narset minuses and stuff. And the Drawn from Dreams. There we go. I was going to say, we're getting close to like actually looking through like the whole library. Every exploit ripples through time. Be mindful. Hmm. I don't think tick up really gets us there. I don't think. Just considering the tick, you know, tick up, they probably just attack me at that point. Maybe attack, just attack me. I don't know. The thing is, is like if the tick up does find more planeswalkers, every planeswalker we find gains three life, and that's a huge deal. Darn. Ooh, got the Chandra cosmetic. Awesome. All right, didn't get there. Vampire is still very good. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a big time flood there towards the end. The last handful of turns. No, I haven't done the event yet. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what deck I'm gonna be playing there. Yeah, we'll keep a Clarion. I guess I could have guessed that this was Escape Shift by Guildgate.
to sit this one out. Let's try this. Okay, you just you just did white weenie to get there. Dang, it took you two and a half hours to get the six wins, QQ. Ugh. I would like to test the played new aristocrats. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. We went Simbic Proliferate. Okay. Oh! Did not activate fairy. <clears throat> so, how am I dealing with this Tamiyo? I think you will find my notes helpful. Ashiok would be really nice here to go against Tamiyo if they're like filling their graveyard like this. I would love to exile this graveyard. Nothing. Hey, John Doe. I have practiced against many foes like you. Thank you so much Meditate. there for the resub there, John. I'm sorry to hear about the rough day at work, but glad it's getting better. And happy to have you here. So we can get another Clarion. I'm gonna go with Drawn from Dreams though. So we can end step, or like, you know, just have like instant speed because it's a fairy. We can just have like Clarion or Drawn from Dreams up next turn. Murf the a lot of the Merfolk are rotating out. Um, yeah, a lot of the merfolk are rotating out. Cards, cards from the first four sets in standard are rotating. Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan, um, Dominaria, and M19. If you go to craft anything on Arena, also any cards that are rotating, there's a warning telling you that the card is rotating out. Hmm. Don't worry, I got this. How do they just have one? So do I, I can tick up and let Narset die and kill Tamiyo. Yeah, I want to do that. How do they just have one token? Do they not just play Yurok before their land and then get two? I guess not. Oh! I'm not even having Narset die. Grazer has. Reach. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna be playing Rampaging Ferocidon. That's a that's a pretty neat little unbanning there. I'm excited about that one. How could I have lost? Well, that's not good. I didn't kill Tamio. Let me aid your research. 
That's not so good. I know. Grazer reach. Stop that. Now. It'll get you. I've got it. So I guess it's just drawn from dreams, Clarion. Here. And I could awaken and I could go Chandra minus three, but then Chandra dies to Yurok. Yeah, this is this is Yurok field. This is a little bit different version with Tamio. I haven't really seen Tamio. In this deck, because milling over your bu yourself a whole bunch, you know, takes a lot of lands out of your deck, which isn't really what necessarily what you want. Oh, it's because they have Nexus. That makes sense. And then I suppose you just want to Nexus people. I follow the tracks of the wise. <laughs> Pretty good, Mr. Nobody. Uh, this is 30 seconds to Mars. Is this ban? They have been looking for that card quite a bit. I don't think they were coming back from this. I mean, I guess time wipe maybe? I need to kill that Tamio. Previously. Field of the Dead is pretty incredible. <laughs> we just play a sweeper. Very next turn, here's 12 more zombies, like, for free to go along with, like, these awesome cards. Just like, yeah, you just get 12 zombies for free. Like that. Uh, 16. Oh, yeah, same turn. Same turn, I just played a sweeper. Oh, these cards are really helping. Trust me, I have a plan. So I'm taking the shock here, so like if we do find a Clarion, late. we can also shock your rock to kill it here we go yeah 
Yeah, I think I think Throne of Eldraine spoilers are going to start next week, I believe. I mean, Ashiok is not good against Nexus, though. Man, not having... Not having Blood Sun is rough. Yes, I could have played Chandra and minus, minus three to, to stay alive for a little bit, but we don't we don't have a way to stop them from, like, just playing from, you know, they're going to replay their 5-6. They're going to kill Chandra, replay the 5-6, um, just go through their library completely. Like, their library is gone at that point. They just have Nexus, and, and I'm just dead. I needed to kill that Tamiyo. I made a, a big mistake there not killing that Tamiyo. And then the trophy for the Sarkin really hurts. As well. I guess I play Ashiox though still. Yeah, Devout Decree is really good against your rock, but I, I couldn't really think of anything else in the deck that Devout Decree is going to help me against. But it does exile your rock uh, very well. This happens though sometimes with our rotation proof decks. We don't always get the most wins with them. Because you are. You are playing a little shorthanded. With us playing half the cards, not playing cards like Blood Sun and, and everything like that. That's alright. Still fighting. Feels like Arena needs a reset again. No, we just did. So I, I need Sacred Foundry. I mean, honestly, we're probably just going to find another land. Let's not take a land. Let's go... Narset Clarion? To have another, a second Clarion. <laughs> that Cavalier of Thorns is so hard to beat. That card is good. That card is good. I guess I have Ugin as far as removal for it. <laughs> Bird of Paradise to replace Elf. Good double Clarion. They get Tamio back.
the the cards that are leaving standard don't just come back to standard at any given point at any like specific point. They're just going to be they they just leave standard. Um, some 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 cards are reprinted at at different times, but for the most part, you can just think of think of it like they're all leaving kind of thing. I need more like actual sweepers, like things that aren't just Clarion, you know, like time wipes and stuff like that. I need more ways to actually kill creatures and blood suns. Who I am, and no one is telling me what to check out these fireworks. Um, does this deck, this deck plays for your rock? I would have guessed three. But, um, Fresh out of fuel. But yeah, if you if you like the deck, you want to use the wild cards on them. That's that's, I think that's an, an okay thing to do. I'm not sure how much rampaging for Rosadon will hurt this deck. I just I just don't know. Maybe not at all. Like Soulty Collars has you know good removal. You know you have all the. You have all the removal spells that can kill Ferocidon very easily, like Cast Down and uh, Tyrant Scorn and everything. Why is my opponent playing all these Unmoored Egos? There's like not even good cards in my deck. What do they want to take? Sarkin? Okay. You know, we can't find time wipe, but it's meant to what end. Coil doesn't kill those things. Man, you would think that I have no time wipes in this deck whatsoever. There's two in here somewhere. Been digging a lot. But still, like I was saying, it's kind of to, to what end. To what end? All right, so our our deck got out grinded. Ugh, these aggressive decks, we could not handle the aggressive decks. A um, couple of cards that it really felt like I should have had was, of course, Prison Realm. We were not able to like exile a Danto Vanguard. Couldn't get rid of like the Cavaliers. Your rocks are just way too big. Um, 
definitely felt like we needed prison realms. Uh, probably want to take out like Wanderer. I, you know, I wanted to try Chandra Mu Yanling, but I think we just need more hard removal. And then of course time wipes. Like we had one one in the main, one in the board, but we were not finding those at all. Um. Yeah, it turns out whenever you're not playing five mana to fairy, it's tougher to deal with a lot of permanents. You know, like, uh, yeah, we we saw that like cards that we were missing really really hurt us. You know, not having opt, um, you know, really slowed our deck down. Uh, not having five mana to fairy just to tuck all sorts of problematic permanents, like it does, really hurt. Um, yeah. It's pretty good. The last time the last time I played this deck, talked about how I didn't like Sarkin in it, uh, like for like the normal version, that I just wanted more big to fairies and then Chandra's and Ugin's and everything. Um, maybe with this version, since we don't have big to fairy, maybe we do need to rely more on Sarkin and have a lot more Sarkins and just rely on not not actually rely on trying to control the board forever of just trying to set up killing our opponent with Sarkin quickly. That's tough to do, though. Um, it's tough to do. But... Man, it's so, it's so tough not playing Blood Sun right now <laughs> with these Field of the Dead decks. Uh, that's tough. But rotation-proof rotation decks can be like that. You don't, don't get to use everything. Um, anyway... Uh, so that's Just Guy Walkers. So if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching Just Guy Walkers. I'll see you for the next video.